Hey, Keller Williams, welcome back as we are launching our new app this week um, or as you ever you're watching this. You want to find a great way to share that app. I wanted to show you a great little trick that I use, which is to take and map that app location to a subdomain of your domain. So if you have a personalized, customized domain, strongly suggest it for multiple pieces of marketing for you. It's never going to change as we change systems or as maybe something changes in your life. That's not going to change us. Basically, uh, direct marketing for you. I want to show you how to make app.yourdomain.com to work. Go directly to download the brand new app from Keller Williams. So we're going to go in. We're going to start out a couple different things here. First of all, is if you need to get your app location URL. So we're going to have a couple tabs. Follow me along. Follow along. Hopefully, it'll work out for you. So once we're in command, we're going to hit the little KW thing up here if we need to in order to know what this is. This is the sites one down here. It's the second to the bottom one. This is going to be updated to consumer here very soon. So watch for that update. That's going to be sites or consumer. We're going to simply click on that one. It's going to bring us to this page here. And we're going to go to the site and app settings. Within here, we're going to see our app URL is right down here. Now you can see as mine is, it is app.kw.com slash blah, 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 blah. Who's going to ever say that to anybody? It's not going to happen, right? We want to make this quick and easy so that they can get to it. So we're going to take and we're going to copy that piece right there. We're going to go over to our domain host. I'm using GoDaddy. It's going to be similar for, for Google Host. If um, We're going to take it and post it into there. So here we have just logged into GoDaddy. You'll see my domains are my, my properties and things are right here. And we're going to update and make that app.kyleolsonrealtor.com to work for us. So we're going to hit the um, Kyle Olson Realtor, we're going to pick that domain right here. We click the Manage button, and that's going to open up our Domain Manager. Underneath that, as we'll see, we'll scroll down to the bottom, and we'll be able to edit those settings and have that forward to that. Now, this is great as well. While this is loading up, I'm going to give you a couple other examples of what else you can do with this. So I've got YouTube.KyleOlsonRealtor.com set up. Don't know if my YouTube channel isn't fully up there, but you can certainly check that out subscribe to it, you will find that since uh, I don't have an actual YouTube link yet, I can make my own. And so it's a good way to kind of hack that system. Anything else, if you want openhouse.kyleolson.realtor.com, if you want, you know, something specific to a neighborhood, you can make all of those right in here. So we're going to hit the manage DNS right on the bottom there. It's going to bring us up to all of these records. Don't worry about the top stuff. This is all confusing. Don't need to work on this stuff. It's real easy. We're just going to keep scrolling down. There's a section down here called forward. We're going to be in the forward piece. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the edit, or we're going to hit the add button. Um, and you're going to add one here. We're going to do the subdomain. We call it whatever we want. So this is going to be, um, and we call it new app since I already have app in there. We're going to forward HTTP to a, that address. Now what we want to watch is for is if this is HTTPS here, we want to make sure we're forwarding HTTPS to that. All right, that's what's going to stop any sort of problems happening. And then we're going to simply get rid of this piece right here. We're going to forward only, and we're going to do permanent. As soon as we hit save, that's going to forward now new app.kyleolsonrealtor.com. So it maybe take 12 to 24 hours to get that updated, but that's going to go directly to your app download page. So I hope that helps you out. Um, if there's any questions, go ahead and post the questions on the bottom of this link. I'll be able to help you with that, and I hope you can get your app out there and get that li that land grab of all these wonderful apps. Get it out to your consumers. Show them the consumer experience because it is going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. And if this helps you at all, go ahead and give a like on there. Give a share. Get it out to your friends. Uh, lots of other videos. Love to help you guys out. Also offering coaching, so feel free to reach out in any way I can.